All right, hello guys. Um, welcome back to another edition of um, Mafia Definitive. Um, I'm gonna do ordinary routine. I forget what what episode this is. I think I did it like. Mm, yeah, I started around this time last year, so I have to look at my memory banks. So. Uh, this is probably going to be posted on Tuesday. This is probably going to be posted on Tuesday the 18th. This is It's currently Tuesday the 15th. Um, I'm going to do Ordinary Routine. Um, I'm. This is going to continue the story of... Uh, what's his face? Mr. Uh, Tony Angelo here. So... So, it's actually a pretty good story. I'm not going to talk a lot. So. Just want to say I love this game. I know this game is three years old now, but it's one of my favorites. You know, it can be a little lame from time to time. All right. Ordinary routine. 1930. So bar was slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Cillieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. Come on, I got what you did I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, let's steal a gas yeah. tank. Yeah. Get it back. Boss is waiting for you. Thanks. You, you can't run or anything. And because this is not free room, you can't enter your garage. Just letting you know that and you can't talk to uh you can't talk to good old ralphie because he's in that and you also will notice if in the in the um other game you will have um in the uh free rule in the free room you'll actually have uh, that there the, the ability to go to the racetrack Oh yeah, by the way, as this as Sorry, the I'm late. Take a seat. That's I'm election day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive, Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe we'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. <laughs> Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Alright, now Ralphie's garage is open. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see what Vinny, let's see what Vincenzo has for us. Hey, just the guy. Hey! Thirty-eight. You can't. Re you can't go in here yet. Seen a little action already, but that's good. You can't really. For you. you can't really go in here. Get weapons. It's only a free roam. Gonna get a thirty-eight. Gonna carry a rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. They don't count. Pointed at the target over there. So now click 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 bang brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. 
good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shoot yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Alright, so you can't really access in pre roam you can access all the weapons you get. So I've already completed the story, so I have them all. Frank's got you out on collections, huh? Shaking guys down. Any time of the week, any time of the day. He knows how much the whole damn city owes us. It all goes in the book. Yes, it does. You can see in there, but not really. All right, boys. Let's uh, let's get in the car. Why don't you guys in the thing already? Hey, right, right. What's up, Ralph? One year since the crash. Read out. You guys will want to read these. These are pretty cool. The worst panic of Wall Street peacetime history. Peacetime history was one year ago today. Still no escape from the wider economy depression that followed it. Unemployment reached eight percent this month. But given the prevailing trend of shuttering businesses and banks and foreclosed homes, said some economists warned that 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 this could double, possibly even triple in the coming years. Special picture featuring subscribers from every state. Yes, this was quite the thing. My grandfather remembers living that. You, you know how to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. So, Come in on, this, show me what you can do. So, in this game, okay, it's a car. We got it. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. All right. Nope, oh, nope, 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 nope. Get out of the vehicle, close to the weapon. Come on. Sooner we do this, sooner we can hit the gin mill. <laughs> Easy for you to say, bud. Forget how to do. Sorry, I forget how to do half of these. So, um, controls. Where well, was preset? How do you? Uh, how do you put on the speed? Sniper, snug for explosives. Um, in vehicle. Look back, hand brake, manual transmission. I have it on hand manual transmission. Skip drive, change camera, horn, look back, uh, options. Ooh, speed limiter, that's right. Middle of the damn screen. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that first so I don't get so I don't get copyright. Pretty easy, simple. The arrows will just tell you where to go. We're going up to Chinatown. Back in old Hong Kong. I think that's where we're going first. I'm actually surprised Polly and uh Sam don't squeal about you getting hit. Well, it's a beautiful day in Lost Haven, Chicago. Chicago, Lost Haven, Illinois. Well, it's supposed to be out there, Chicago, which is funny, funny you should mention it. I'm probably going to be over to Chicago later this, early, early this summer. So, to the Windy Center. Okay, this is it. 
No brackets, just park right here. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. This is the only time you get to go in any of these shops. And you have to open up the door because they're too lazy to do it themselves. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's well, good to hear, Al. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. See, don't. Oh, you stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you were. I mean, how can we protect you? Where's the money? Run, fetch him. Go to It's on the table, brown envelope. Via di qui. Lasciate ci in pace. Don't know what she's saying, but it doesn't sound very. Doesn't hey, sound. See you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom. Huh? Oh, some nice stuff. Well, at least they're making the. Well, at least somebody's making something during the depression. <laughs> so, that's a bakery, and that's a bit. There's a bakery in the 1930s. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place tough. Oh. And I hate wait. <laughs> I did that on purpose. See how far that car freaking drifted and just like half a mile that way okay car stop drifting sorry I did that guy used to run this next place Tom his name's not Eugene guy's a Chinaman but it sounds like Eugene well that's what we called him Polly slammed his head into the counter back in what, 27 I think <laughs> yeah it was hilarious after that no problems at all if you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Excuse my driving. So as this game progresses, you're going to notice the cars are going to change over time. So that's the entrance to Chinatown right there, but they're going to make us take the long way around. Dude. Watch your driving. See, there's two entrances to Chinatown. There's this one, and there's also this one. Little Italy's just right behind us. When you're driving little missions like this, don't go over the limiter. Um. I think you're gonna have to walk on foot. Watch the traffic, by the way, because these drivers do not have have a mind of their own. Actually, no, 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 I was wrong. This is it. All right, I thought this one was set. Thought this. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Somebody's not paying up. Jean's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, <laughs> Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair.
you can't get out of the car, you can't do anything. You gotta listen to what Polly works over this China guy. And he got his money. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Yeah. Well, if you want to pay, well, if you oversell the area, I would I would play up too. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. You doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much <laughs> blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Oh, he really worked the mobile. So, okay. Come out with us again, Tom. Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Oh, you deserve to drive like that, dude. So, Jesus. and then I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. That car is worse power, power than us. And we're freaking lagging. Boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Well, we'll see. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Welcome to the sticks. I'm not going to talk when the boys are talking because um, I don't feel. Okay, there it is. Finally. I don't feel like cutting in. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a word of the wise. That car right there, when the, when, when well, I'm about to spoil it. Most of you know it's going to happen anyway, so. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. I think the pumps are done. And I think the pumps are done anyway. So. Lost Haven, 33. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Tom, I took what? Jesus Christ, Paul. Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to get information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. 
That can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Guys notice that there's no blood on Polly. Guys notice he's got a wound, but there's no blood on Polly. Alright. Where the wise gonna give you guys a little tip. right now is because this is going to help this is going to help out later I might be I might be waste I might be wasting ammunition I'm on him. I'm, I might be wasting ammunition right now It's gonna help me out in the long run and you I'm gonna snipe you right now. I saw you. No you're not. Oh yeah, by the way, so if you There's something up here. I don't know what, but if you go to one of these balconies, you might be able to get, you, you might get. Oh, shoot. All right, so you're, you're, Objective is to Your objective is to clear these rooms you I clearly hit you serves revolver seriously no I need health really fast I'm not gonna get it. I'm probably gonna die. This game is no joke. Just to let you guys know, there's there's no such thing as an easy mission in this game. All of them are geared to test you. So if I die a couple, so if I die, so if I die a couple times. So I die a couple. So if I die from time to time, don't be surprised, because this game is crazy. I thought he had. I, I thought one of these guys had a. Thought one of these guys had a. Um, 1911.
I um, now you could pick up the service revolver, but it doesn't have any rounds in it. I rather the now the service revolver gives you a little bit better power, but it gives you less rounds. I wish I wish I could have a second gun, but I only need but I can only You just check your corners. You might get a lucky shot or two. You might get a lucky shot or two. So, and look for those. Galati. Um, trust a figure in Lost Haven, owner of boatyards and industry employer to thousands, friend of the city, dutiful father and husband. Remember that name going forward. One of these guys, I believe there's a Tommy gun, I'm not sure. Um, what you want to do is you want to check um, shot um now one good thing is i'm um, the reason why i got the service That's the first time I think I've done any one of those without without a second take. Intermezzo, we're gonna jump ahead eight years. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Feel that way that's that Damien Clark, by the way. <laughs> My name is Perfect Cell. That's Damien Clark. That's his. That's his voice actor. I felt like I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money, and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He's scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. 
You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Moretto file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Interesting story right here. Way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! This dude. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? Yeah, no, it was. No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well. Repairs are gonna be expensive. You have, you have freaking, you have millions of dollars. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. His grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. The cops don't do a goddamn thing. To solve the problem because he pays off a lot of cops so if you so we're up against something big uh, someone spun your tail pal you got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat that's true too and still Morello left that poor sap dead in the street head all caved in I don't swear Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Hmm. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days we was also having a bit of fun. Enter the most interesting mission of all time. Fair play. Two years later. 1932. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm -hmm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload. But not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. The original game, it was this was never this was never part of the story. So. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss.
go out for a race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. All right, so you can talk to Salieri. Hey Tom, do you have a place to go, or is it John Salieri to stay to make a place for the city? He's got plenty of places to go. Come on, Tom. His job's against the clock. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. I'm going. In. Race day approaches. September 3rd, 1932. The grandest day in sporting calendar is almost upon us. Crowd, record crowd strike. Record crowds are expected to set upon the Lost Haven Autodrome this weekend. It's the city brass in this glorious sunshine. Famous driver Martin Lichtenberg. Lichtenberg is taking some time away from the International Series to challenge life. Lost Heavens here, Mikey Dunn. Um, Race fans are on the tenor on the tenter hooks. And there's Mikey Dunn's car, so hey, Tom, I'll deal with this Luke. Polly, he drove you home. Oh yeah. Christ. That was some night. For you maybe. Those broads, not so much. Help you, Tom? No, nah, just looking around. I saw you talking to the dog. So you know what to do. He didn't say go look around. It's you nice to have the You're lucky you got me on a good day, Tommy Angelo. Hey, ignore what Sam was saying. Those Tom, power you keeps spoke were to singing the just for me. So now do as he asks. <laughs> hey, hey, bonus say the Tom. So that's a fine. Six. It's already behind the bar. Hey, it's Luigi. Alright, so that's going to have to wait till next time. Fair play is going to have to wait till next time. Because we're in an Italian neighborhood and there's a kick around. Typical. Um, but yeah, I'm going to want to stop it here, guys, because I'm going to do fair play in a separate mission. So I'm going to watch this on Tuesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I have Gran Turismo. I had a Gran Turismo video, 45 minute Gran Turismo video um, that I just recorded today. Um, and I should be, that should be uploaded soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode and then the next one, fair play. So I'm going to put it right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the story back up and I'm going to bring it right back here and then I'm going to talk to Ralphie here so hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we're going to go racing next um, next uh, next week when uh, we're the next week after uh, next Tuesday so hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys later have a good day bye